What's happening, people? Today we are here with a Pokemon Wi-Fi Battle of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Now this game is pretty old, uh, about two years, I'm supposing, or a year. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is out, but honestly, those games aren't very competitive. I do have them right here, but obviously, like I said, <laughs> they're not competitive. There's not much I can show you guys on the games that would interest, interest you that you haven't seen already on YouTube. So, the best things I can give you guys for now is some Wi-Fi battles on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which has all Pokemon in it, and it doesn't have those damn candies <laughs> that breaks the game. So, um, unfortunately, we are going to have to stick to Ultra Sun and Moon for uh, competitive battles. But, um, come on, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. I have finished the game. I played a couple of uh, months ago when it came out. Yeah, uh, I, got, I got bored real fast. The game is honestly just a casual game, mostly fan service. Um, just a remake of Pokemon Yellow, honestly. And it's nothing too crazy, honestly. <laughs> I'm mostly into games like these, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, where we just come out with a whole new region and a bunch of great stuff uh, goes down with it. Pokemon Sun and Moon was honestly the greatest Pokemon game I ever played in a while. It re completely rekindled my love for Pokemon. But, um, honestly, we're just in this moment of time where Game Freak is just taking its time on developing something, you know, very interesting for us next. So, right now, we're just stuck with what we got, and honestly, it's not too bad. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon isn't, it's pretty fun still, even though I haven't even finished the game. <laughs> but anyways, this is a battle against one of the guys in my stream. I forgot it's his Twitch name, and honestly, I don't don't think you guys even care. So, <laughs> there's that. I'm using a Medicham team. Uh, this team, I don't remember too well, but uh, I think I had a lot of difficulty using this team in some of the Wi-Fi battles I had. Um, but nonetheless, this is a pretty fun team. I had to work a lot of things out in order to make Zero Aura, which you see right there, to work. Um, because the Pokemon itself is just so weak. Honestly, um, I'm sorry to say it, I love this Pokemon. When it came out, I wanted to use it to its fullest limits and just uh, try and develop as many uh, move sets and uh, teams as I could with them. But unfortunately, this Pokemon is not strong enough. It, I'm using it on this team as a wall breaker. Um, if I didn't have him, I'll probably put a Zekrom on this team. But honestly, Zero Aura isn't that strong at all. I cannot wall break with him. He's not strong enough, so I need to keep a choice bait on him. But in situations like those, it becomes very difficult to uh, work against my opponent who knows how, who has a very well-developed solid team. Any um, balance team or any uh, defensive team, just my team will not handle it, <laughs> most likely. But um, I am still trying to work it out. Zero Ori is still a cool Pokemon. It's super fast. It's a great um, win condition. They can also, you know, I'll speed Greninja, so that's cool. That's a bonus. But anyways, we're going to see what he can do right here in this game. I think this is my first time ever revealing Zero Aura. Have I ever uploaded a video on YouTube with Zero Aura? I don't know. I haven't uploaded in a while. <laughs> anyways, I am going to lead off with my Meta Chain Mets. He is going to lead off with his Mew. Truth is, I was suspecting him to lead off with, I don't know. Most likely, anything, just fake it out. But right here, I'm not going to try and see if this thing has a... I should have actually faked this thing out if I had it. Because, obviously, it could have, um... Leftovers. If it doesn't have leftovers, it's going to be a nasty plot set like this, which is unique. Uh, so this isn't a Defog typical Mew. This, that is a offensive Mew. And the truth is, seeing him have a nasty plot Mew is kind of... Strange because he obviously has a Volcarona, a Dragonite, a Gyarados, so many Pokemon that set up already. So it's kind of beyond me that he has a Nessie Plot Mew. So I all that just tells me that his team is nothing but just set up, set up, set up. And so I really need to get myself rocks up to prevent his Volcarona, Dragonite, and Gyarados from sweeping me uh, too much in this game. So um, I'm gonna trick right here with my Lyos as I switch it into his Mew. That way. Well, that way I can prevent that thing from mixing up moves and stuff like that. But what he is going to do is switch to his Mana Buzz against my Loyos, which is perfect. Because this is this has to be his only potential Defogger now. 
It's me who revealed that he's offensive, so this man of us will have the fog, but unfortunately for him, I am going to um, trick him a ch choice scarf, and so now he is stuck and locked into foul play. But right here, he stayed, he stayed in with his mana buzz against my Tapakoko. I don't know what that was. I'm guessing he was trying to let this thing die and then switch into his Volcarona, which was damn annoying. But, uh... What he is going to do right here is take advantage of me staying in with my Landorus against his Mandibuzz. Because I am going to set myself rocks. I want to do this at Volcarona and Dragonite. They're big threats to me. So I am going to set myself rocks. And, uh... Also... Yes, I... Oh, yeah, that's... Did I explain my situation with my... Me switching into my Tapakaga? I switched in because I wanted to take the hit and then I wanted to kill him, scare him out, but he stood in, which was beyond me. But uh, I'm gonna, I took that opportunity to step myself to Rock since he was staying in with his Minna Buzz. Now he's gonna switch into his Gyarados. He's gonna set up a Dragon Dance, I'm, this is typical. Uh, what I'm gonna do here though is switch into my Lyos, forcing him into uh, going for the Crunch. Now I don't need my Lyos too much in this game. I kinda need it because he does have that um, Mew and that. Um, the toss effects, but honestly, I have many Pokemon that can deal with that, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna force him to use Crunch right here, turning him in, in turning him into a Dark type and getting rid of his Flying typing. So this way, I can switch into my Tang Growth and just take him out with a couple Giga Drains. Honestly, that's also why I went for the U-turn on, on the Gyarados. So that way, this has a good chance of two hit KOing him, most likely if I get two decent rolls. But unfortunately, right here, he is going to get the defense drop, which is going to suck a little. Um, it's not too bad of a situation. Because uh, what I'm going to do here is just switch directly out. With this amount of HP, I will get be, be back to full with my Tangrowth. So what I'm going to do is switch to my Landorus, get Intimidate to lower his attack. I know I can take the hit easily. Switch back into my Tangrowth. I'm going to be at uh, full HP. And if he wants to set up another Dragon Dance, which he most likely won't because I have U-Turn, I have super effective damage I could do to him, he won't be in a good position. So I am going to switch directly into my Tang Growth. This Gyarados setting up like this was not smart um, because obviously I have a Tang Growth. But uh, he did succeed in weakening my Landorus and uh, killing my Lario, so that's a plus for him, I guess. Right here, I am going to uh, finish him off, as he is not going to allow that. I'm not sure why he preserved his Gyarados, when obviously... Oh, wait, wait, that makes sense. <laughs> so he's going to switch into his Mana Buzz. There's a perfect opportunity for him to, to fog, because he does have um, the Volcarona and Dragon Knight in the back. <clears throat> right here, I should just stay in the offensive with my Tapu Koko and my uh, um, Zero Aura. Well, obviously, I'm not doing that. Uh, the Dragon Knight can still stop my Zero Aura or my Tapu Koko. I think I have Taunt on my Tapu Koko. I, so, but I don't know. I guess I just really want my Stealth Rocks up. Uh, this was my best opportunity to go for U-turn right here because I know for a fact he's going to um, switch directly out into either the Vocal Rona or the Dragon Knight. But unfortunately, I'm not going to make that play. I'm just going to go straight for my Stealth Rocks yet again because uh, the, the Mana Buzz honestly has like one more chance of defogging. If it does that, though, it's going to die upon re-entry most likely if I set up my Stealth Rocks again. Uh, so he's either forced to roost or he's either forced to defog next time when he s sends out that uh, Mana Buzz. So I will, be, I will be ready for that. Right here, I am going to be going for the U-turn on this uh, Dragon Knight because I need to uh, prevent this thing from actually staying at plus one. Not plus one, but I guess plus two or just, I don't know. He can set up multiple Dragon Dances against my Landorus, and my Landorus is probably my best bet on taking this thing out. So what I'm going to do here is switch it to my Tapu Koko after he sets up a Dragon Dance. And now what I'm going to do is switch back into my Landorus because I think, I'm thinking he has Earthquake. Um, if he doesn't have Earthquake, I'm not sure what to suspect. I'm guessing he's going to go for his uh, Z-move at this point, because, I don't know, what, what else does he have stronger to hit me? I'm guessing that's actually Extreme Speed. So I don't know his full moveset with this Dragon Knight yet. Uh, he is going to get a critical hit. That is very, very unfortunate. But uh, what I'm going to do here now is go for the Hand Power Ice, because I s <sighs> doesn't make any sense to... I don't know. I'm thinking he is going to go for this Dragon Dance again, most likely, because... 
He thinks that my you see he's at neutral. If he kills my Landorus, I can just switch into something else that can take the hit and knock him out. So obviously he is gonna be forced to set up another Dragon Dance. I can get a little bit of leftovers right here. As well as doing some damage. So that's good. This is good. Uh, what I can do now is switch into my Meta Champ and now fake him out, most likely. So this thing will not swing me. Most likely. And I'm not suspecting this thing to have Z fly, honestly, because um, he's not going for it. And not only that, I don't need my team growth too much, so I am so I will risk it right here against this Dragon Knight. But what I'm gonna do here here though instead is that will switch back into my uh, Landorus, get the other Intimidate, he's back at neutral. He's gonna set up another Dragon Dance, which is fine by me, because he's revealing that the only move he's going for right now is extreme speed against my Landorus. So what I'm gonna do now is just go for him other Hemper Ice after getting a little bit more HP back. And at this point he's screwed, so uh, he is going to die right here. Because he's not revealing he has any stab attacks, no fly, no Dragon Claw, no Z moves. So I'm gonna finish him. Um, that's why, I, honestly, in Dragon Knights in this minute game should be running Ice Beam, I think. I don't think they should be running anymore because, honestly, Zygarde got banned. I heard about that. Zygarde 50% is now banned, so now all, mostly all the good Zygards are out of the met oh, you meta game. They're all uber. Uh, Zygarde being an uber, it kind of makes sense. It's kind of the same thing as Zygarde 100%, just downgraded by a quarter. So, um, it, it makes sense that it got banned. The Pokemon kind of shit on me a couple of games, but uh, it is gone. Honestly, I found counters for it, Zygarde, so I, don't, I didn't see it broken, honestly. But uh, it is gone now. It did force teams, to, force teams into fully restructuring around it. You know, I mean, against it, so. <laughs> kind of makes sense. You'd be forced around a top of Coco or Tangrowth on your team most of the time. But uh, anyways, I am going to, um, damn, where did I, where did I leave off at? Anyways. I'm going to kill a Dragonite with the other hand power ice because he couldn't kill me with that extreme speed. I'm now he is not going to switch into his uh I think you and finish off my Landorus. But what this is going to allow me to do is switch directly into my type of Coco and go straight for the Thunderbolt. As he is gonna set up a nasty plot, go for the fire blast, and it's going to miss, unfortunately, for him. Aha, but that's what happens when you get like two crits in a row, right? You got the no, he got the defense drop against my Tangrowth and the critical hit on my Landorus. So anyways, that's uh, Vengeance Sense Redemption. Right here, he is going to switch to the Volcarona and take them Stealth Rocks and then get destroyed by a Choice Banded. A Choice Banded electri um, uh, Electric Terrain <laughs> Boosted Plasma Fist, which is easily going to obliterate that thing, boy. And so that thing's dead. He's gonna switch to the mana bud. He's trying to stall out um, these turns of uh, electric terrain. And the electric terrain naturally is going to, going to end down. So I'm not sure. The truth is, if, if he actually counted the turns, it would have been best to switch into his toss effects and then, yeah, you know, go for the baneful bunker because he does have it. And then stalled out the ter last turn of Electric Terrain, and then he would have had an additional Pokemon still. But, uh, it, because he just allowed his Mandibuzz to die for no reason, honestly. Uh, when he could have switched into this thing and just took in the hit. So, yeah, this Tossabex is his last line of defense against my Zero Aura and my, uh, Top of Coco. But unfortunately, this thing cannot take on two electro types at the same time, nor can, nor can it take on my Manda Buzz. I mean, Mad Champ. Um, it also cannot take on who else? My Tangro? I should allow my Tangro to die. I don't understand why I preserved him. But, um, yeah. Th this is basically game. He can go for these. Baneful bunkers if he wants to. I know for a fact that Tua came home with the uh, plasma fist. Had he went for recovered, all he would what all what he would have been doing to himself is just stalling. Did I say that right? All what all of what he would have been doing is stalling because I have too many Pokemon against that thing. Um. So wait, is it is it like some black parts coming up? Like it's quite. What is that stuff? <laughs> I see this game frizzing up or something like that. I see some black stuff. I don't. You see, I saw it right there. What 
the hell? I didn't get a better computer. Anyways, um, this is going to be the last turn of the game. Zero or is just gonna sweep it up, destroying everything in sight. Yeah, that's what happens when you got a huge weakness to stealth rocks, but, but anyways, that's gonna be game. And yeah, I had fun. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. So, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. It's not old, honestly. I, I've been in this situation before in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I played the game for a year. And then, well, it kind of got boring. But then I started to experiment with totally new Pokemon I wouldn't manage to get in myself in. Because, you know, this is Pokemon. We're full of hundreds and hundreds of Pokemon. <laughs> so I tried to use them all as much as I can in a very single, in a short period of time of a generation. So, in this generation, obviously, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. We have these Z moves. We have some couple new Pokemon I still haven't used. I don't think I ever ever used Toko, Togemaru, and I haven't used um, too much Top of Lele. Uh, I never made a legitimate team with Top of Bulu either. Well, I have. Hmm. I have many ideas still. So this is why I'm not really bored yet. Uh, I'm still gonna be using trying a new Pokemon. I wouldn't think I'm. <laughs> I, I wouldn't think of possibly using. Shit, maybe I'll use a uh, Ferret. You know, the little scarf looking Pokemon. That's supposed to be some sort of squirrel or some shit. I, I don't know. Anyways, yes, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back soon. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.